such a good morning. I'm here with Michael Griffin. I don't know how I've gotten into this situation. I'm wearing um, handcuffs that were owned by Harry Houdini. Michael here is an escape artist yeah. um, known across the nation for his stunts, and he will be performing at the Bangor State Fair. He has been performing. Michael, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It is my pleasure. This is the first time I've been in Maine in forever, and I apologize to everybody out here in Bangor because I've been mispronouncing the city. I've said Bangor, but they go, it's Bangor. Bangor. So, so Bangor. Yeah, yes. So it's Bangor. So thank you for having me. But yes, we're out at the fair. Um, the fair picks back up Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. My show times are 1.30, 3 o'clock, and 4.30. And you guys got to come out and be part of the show because I'm giving away $1,000 to anybody who can tie me up with rope and I can't get out. And we've had some <laughs> crazy groups come up Has on that stage. happened already? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. They, so they, nobody's beat you. Well, I'm not going to say they didn't beat me, but they didn't win the contest. <laughs> but they were pretty violent yesterday. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's what we do. Bangorians. Yeah. Ba Bangorians. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bangorians. And then also, um, since I'm here in Bangor, Maine, I also collect jail jewelry. Now, you're yep. wearing a pair of right. jail jewelry. Right. Now, folks, what, what camera am I on? This one? Yeah. Folks, these were actually owned by Harry Houdini. I collect rare handcuffs. If <laughs> any of you watching today have any old handcuffs, get in contact with me. I will pay you cash. How do they get in contact with you? Um, you can either go through my website, which is michaelgriffinescapes.com, yep. or you could reach out to you guys yep. or or anywhere. Um, we tried smoke signals, but that doesn't work. Yeah, that one's tough. Yeah, it in is. In the age of cell phones. <laughs> and carrier pigeons, <laughs> that darn cat. <laughs> I would like to try them with the pigeons, though. Okay, though, we before we run out of time, yeah. what stunts, though, are, have you, like, what are you doing? Um, I am doing a lot of weird stuff. It's an audience interactive experience, mm -hmm. and I'm doing the rope challenge. I'm getting out of a straight jacket. Okay. There's a lot of handcuff escapes there. So this is very Harry Houdini-esque. Well, it's not Houdini-esque because I'm a lot taller. Okay. But I, I but I do use escapes, and I and I talk to people about escaping the, our, the straight jacket that we all wear of negative thinking. You okay. Know? So just you know, cool. we're, we're all going to be hit with that straight jacket. Yep. But you can get out if you believe in yourself. You find somebody to talk to. So folks, when you're in doubt, talk to somebody. You'll get out. Now, That's a good she, she's been locked up in Houdini's handcuffs. I'm going to let her out right now. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> because I'm a sweetheart of a guy. <laughs> the, the rest of the news would be a little bit complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you. And then. Oh, okay, it worked. See, that was the. the wow. Yes. Now, thank so, you. so what had happened was years ago when I did a jailbreak, they put the handcuffs on me. They put me in the jail cell, and you can't touch the lock or anything because it's an old-fashioned door okay and there's there's no bars on the on the door right so they locked me up and they kind of put away the key and since you're the reporter they're going to ask you will you verify that you and i set nothing up yeah no i didn't okay. know we were doing this yeah so yeah. are you okay with a cigarette lighter yeah okay you know how to work them <laughs> yes okay so after the handcuffs were on the reporter the handcuffs went on me and the reporter goes i don't get what i saw she goes, I don't understand how you get out of handcuffs with the key, let alone without the key. She goes, in fact, give me the key. Then I did this, light that. Okay. Light it. Are we lighting that on fire? <gasps> Whoa. And I go, <laughs> I go, what key? What? And then stuff got weird. Watch. Oh. <laughs> what? What am I? <laughs> what? She goes, did you just slip your hands? <laughs> I said, no, there's there's room there, but it won't go any tighter. I can make it tighter, but it won't go over the hand. She goes, I don't get what I saw. I said, it's like a great athlete. A great athlete wins the race in his mind before he wins it on his feet. She goes, I don't understand. I go, our brain is the key that will get us free. Watch. I'm watching. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there we go. Thank that you very much. Thank good. you for having me. Thank yep. you, Bangor. And bring me your old handcuffs. I collect jail jewelry. I will give you substantial amounts of cash for jail jewelry. Catch me at the Bangor State Fair. I love it here. Thank you, Michael. Oh, thank you for having me. It was of a pleasure course. to be had. We'll send it over to Devin Biggs for our full weather forecast.